the story of the discovery of the structure of DNA is a really quite nice and exciting one. And it really isn't that difficult to understand, even though it sounds like an enormously complicated uh, thing. That's why I describe this as saying that it's really not hard to be a rocket scientist. Originally, people thought that genes should be proteins since they were far more complex than DNA. However, that created what was called the Russian doll problem. And that is basically what may, it codes for the protein to make the protein? What codes for the protein that codes for the protein to make the protein? What codes for the protein that codes for the protein that codes for the protein to make the protein? In other words, if protein is the code and it is also the product, what is the original material that one cannot uh, live without? That was called the Russian doll problem. Considerable evidence accumulated uh, over the next few years to argue that DNA really had to be the genetic material. And so the question was, how could this simple molecule cons uh, consisting of only four bases be the genetic material? And how could it uh, carry information? In order to understand that, one had to understand the structure of the DNA. And that's where Watson and Crick come into the story. By getting clues from X-ray crystallography and literally building models, they found that the DNA could only fit together one way. The fact that it would only do so was part of the big secret. But first, we need to understand what a, an X-ray crystallograph is. The X-ray crystallograph at the left is molecular billiards, where X-rays bounce off of two consecutive rungs of a helix or any regular pattern, they produce a spot. And the distance of the spot uh, tells you ab about the structure of the helix. So basically, by reading the distances of the spots, it became possible to recognize that DNA was a helix and furthermore to tell something about its parameters. What they realized with their model was that it would only fit together one way. If one base was adenine, the other could only be thymidine. If one base was guanidine, the only other base could be uh, cytidine. Uh, this then told them something very, very special about this molecule. If the bases fit together in only one way, then what it meant was that if you knew what one chain was, you would know what the other one was. And furthermore, if you separated the two chains, you could reassemble new chains based on the base sequence of the original chains. In other words, they could replicate each other and you would not need an instruction book to do so. This molecule could replicate itself and you are out of the Russian doll problem. This and other adventures can be found in The Joy of Science by Richard A. Lockshan, published by Springer.